and uh, something interesting, really nothing to do with anything you are really want to know, but uh, more about IVF history and somehow related to what we're doing today. So time flies. In, 19, in 1978, and this is the world's well, first IVF baby was born. The name is Louis Brown, and her sister Natalia also born from IVF. They have both become mother, have children through so natural conception. So that's indicated that IVF is a very safe procedure. Now, in this issue, the interesting thing is that it was just talking about how the IVF history changed. And these are all the world pioneers who are doing the in vitro fertilization way back in 1970 and the 1980s. And what one thing they found that's very interesting is that IVF starting with a complete natural cycle, IVF, without taking any drugs. It's a natural cycle. Then quickly, the whole world started doing IVF with all kinds of injections, which we so-called conventional IVF. And many of us even thought that IVF, meaning that you take many, many shots. This is not the case. The world the first IVF baby was born completely natural cycle. And uh, nowadays, the history changed. Again, we move back from many, many inject injections to the more natural approach of IVF, so-called minimal stimulation IVF, or even natural cycle IVF. And this kind of cycle is particularly interesting for the patient who have low ovarian reserves, or they don't make many eggs, or they already failed two or three in vitro fertilization through the conventional approach. And this group of patients are the major patients in our center undergoing minimal stimulation IVF.